Hi everybody, welcome to another video. So today I'll be talking about art challenges. Okay, so why am I doing it now? Because it's September and October is coming. Most of the artists would know like in October there's a very popular event will occur and that is called the Inktober. So what is this Inktober thing in October? <laughs> okay, it, I think I've explained it before in my uh, Why Do Art Challenge uh, video. Then there's Inktober. Uh, where you do where you draw a uh, do an ink drawing every day in October there will be a prompt list so every day there will be a prompt uh, to tell you what you need what what you need to to draw so I've been doing this since 2014 um, and for my first two years when first three years when I started um, this whole Inktober um, challenge uh, or drawing challenge in October I didn't follow the prompt list at all so I just did what I wanted um, so first year I just just draw everything that I can find from my daily life. Um, then for, for the next two years, what I did was I, I, I looked at, I, I looked for my own travel photographs and then I draw pictures, my, my own travel photograph pictures. And for the last two years, I mean 2018 and 2019, I did follow the prompts. I find it a little bit more difficult because I had to fit what I want to draw uh, to a certain prompt um, that was given. It is a movement that was uh, created by Jake Parker in 2009 and um, every year you see more and more people uh, are participating uh, in this challenge. Uh, but in the recent years, uh, there have been some controversy like last year, um, Jake Parker actually trademarked Inktober and um, a lot of artists were affected because they, they sell uh, art books related to Inktober and, and those got like copyright um, strike. And, um, more recently, um, he was Jake Parker, the creator, was also called out by uh, one of the another artists uh, called Alfonso Dan uh, for for copying his uh, art book. So, a lot of things happening, a um, lot of drama. But personally, I think this is a private issue that should be settled, you know, between the two of them. I will not boycott the movement just because uh, of of what is happening, because to me. Inktober is more than that. It's more than just Jake Parker's. It's also this whole, um, it's actually a whole community that's based on this uh, whole challenge. In fact, there are different Facebook groups and they are all built year after year uh, on Inktober. But if you have an issue with Jake Parker um, or Inktober, you can choose not to do the prompt, not to follow the prompt list. Or maybe you don't even want to call your drawing or, or your, 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 what you are planning to do an Inktober uh, challenge, you can call it something else. Draw tober, uh, you know, drawing art tober, you know, whatever tober you can find, it's, it's definitely possible. The hype is real, so um, when, if you are following um, drawing related hashtags or drawing accounts or uh, YouTube channels, they, there is a chance that or someone is actually doing something in October. Get inspired, see all the different art uh, that's being produced every day uh, in, in the month of October. And if you follow the prompts, you'll be so amazed by how creative people are um, and they could think of many different things to draw for a particular prompt. We will all want to get better at our craft, but most of sometimes you do need a little bit of a push and that's why I think the uh, October Art Challenge or the Inktober will help you uh, along. Because uh, when you are committing yourself to doing the Inktober or the drawing challenge in October, by drawing every day, once a day for 31 days, uh, you are putting yourself uh, into that habit or forming that habit uh, to, to consistently work on your art. I have two advice for you. So number one is to plan. So take the time to plan what you're going to draw. Because you're going to be drawing every day, continuously for 30 days so for, for 31 days so there's really you don't want to spend time in the middle thinking about what to draw um, because that's gonna affect your momentum so since it's, it, this is September now take a few days to think about what you want to draw you may draw anything you want okay or you may actually select a prompt so if you are not going to go by the official prompt look for prompts uh, online there are various there's so many prompt lists that I cannot even compile, it's just too many of them. So just go around and look at it, or you can come up with your own prompt and you can draw you know, things that you like. For example, you love drawing cars, just you know, select 31 different cars to draw. 
So for 2020, I am going to come, I'm going to draw isometric rooms. Uh, if you don't know what isometric is, just go Google it. <laughs> isometric rooms related to the prompts. And I'm going to use prompts uh, from the Stream Inc. Uh, prompt list. Was a coin or like uh, chosen by uh, art streamers from Twitch. And I am actually recently started to doing uh, art, live art treat. Thought, you know, why not just, just join them since I'm already part of the community. <laughs> And because you're going to draw every day for 31 days, um, you may need to think about uh, how you want to scope it down because you can't be drawing a, a canvas size like a whole watercolor sheet um, every day because that is, unless you have the whole day or you can spend eight hours a day drawing it. If not, think about how much time you have and then think about how much you can draw in that time and select your or appropriate uh, subjects to draw. So step number two is to prepare. So. What do, we, what do I mean by prepare? So if you are going to draw it in a, in a uh, digital art, of course, just make sure that you have your iPad, your pen, whatever ready. I guess there's really not much preparation if you're doing digital art. But if you're doing traditional art, like you're doing, doing it on paper, then you have to go and look for your, for your uh, sketchbook. Um, it should have at least like 31 sheets or 31 pages. So, um, actually no, 31 plus minus 2, 33 to 35 would be good because you may have certain days where you actually did a problem, you, you did something wrong and, and you had to redo. So that would allow it to, to uh, give you some buffer, um, buffer pages. And also you may also want to start the first page with uh, the prompt list and maybe the last page with the art tool. Um, just having one booklet dedicated for, for this art challenge in October will allow you to make it into a, good, a beautiful memory. And of course, other than the books, you also need to look for um, your art material. So because you're going to do every day, draw every day, just check that you have the in enough supply. You don't want to run out of it. Uh, test out the materials that you're going to, going to use. So if you have gotten a new sketchbook, which has the right pages, test out whether it, it's your, your pens that you're currently using or the paint that you're cu currently using, whether it will work well or not. Because you do not want to do halfway and then you realize that Ah, you know, I, the, the, the pen, you know, actually bleeds through to the other page. You should also plan out your schedule. So you're going to do it every day, every day. So you need to look at, examine your, what you need to do in a day and select a particular time slot that you have um, and dedicate it to drawing. So if you know that you need about one to two hours, uh, maybe in the evening, you come back from work or come back from school, just block out that time, nine to 10 o'clock, nine to 11. And that's the time where you sit down and you actually work on it and, and, and do produce an art at the art piece at the end uh, of that two hours. I've been doing Inktober since 2014. So uh, I've seen I've I've seen I've seen a lot of questions. So here's my take on the common questions that people have for Inktober. So question number one: must I follow the official prompt? Answer is no. Okay. So if you want to, you are not interested in following the prompts um, that the official list that is already available actually, um, it's over here. Okay, if you have no, you absolutely no interest in doing that, it's fine, you know, do find your own prompts. And, and I, as I have mentioned in, in, the pre, in, in the earlier, there's a million and one prompt list. Just go and find whatever you want and, and, and draw. Um, the only issue with not following the official prompt is that if you want it to be mentioned, if you want your art piece to be selected or mentioned uh, in the Inktober uh, Facebook group or Instagram, you know, uh, it, they probably won't choose yours because you didn't follow the prompts. Okay, question number two. Must I, must I use ink only? Uh, answer is no, okay. Um, there are many forms, um, it's really up to you. Of course, Inktober starts with the ink, right? So the ink connotation is there. Like most people will think about, oh, that means I can, I can only draw pen lines, marker lines, and, and on white paper, so Inktober. But it is, it's up to you because it's really just an art challenge that take, took place in, that is taking place in October. So there are people who actually do uh, uh, digital art, there are people who paint, there are people who do mixed media. Yeah, whatever goes, just practice. But of course, as I said, if you are, in, if you are concerned about your art being picked uh, and, and showcased in the official uh, face, uh, groups, then you should, you should just use ink black and white. Most they, they tend to be favoured. Okay, question number three. I don't feel motivated. I don't know. I don't feel like drawing. Okay, so if you have that kind of feeling, right, just go and draw, okay? Because action 
brings motivation. Do not wait for motivation. Uh, just go and do something. Because most of the time, once you started doing something, that motivation will come because you have already seen something that you have done and that will push you to completing it. Also, to help yourself uh, draw, uh, to really sit down and draw, make sure that you put clear space on your desk, put your drawing materials there, put your pens, whatever else, just put it there so that when you see it, you will, do, you will draw it. Like, you, you wouldn't like turn around and go and uh, watch Netflix or something. It's there reminding you every day that you should put in an effort to draw. Okay, question number four. Okay, I do not know what to draw. Uh, if you have prepared, as I said, do the preparation in September, already know what you're gonna draw, then you shouldn't get this. You, you shouldn't have this question. Just, just follow that and, and draw, okay? Uh, okay, next question. Uh, but I'm late, I miss one day, I can't finish. Uh, okay, don't worry. There is no price. Nobody's gonna judge you at the end whether you finish or you do not finish. So at, at least for me, I think there's only one or two years when I actually finish on time. Most of the time, I I am late. I I'm, I'm always late. I'm sometimes even late for a few months. I had recently a friend who uh, posted his Inktober one year, almost a year late, and nobody said anything. Right? Don't worry so much. Okay. So oh, another question that uh, I get with, that I've seen uh, very often is. Uh, Nobody likes my posts. Uh, I post on blah blah blah, and nobody like it. Uh, why? Or I I I'm, I don't want to post anymore. No, something to that effect. Ask yourself, what is your purpose? Why do you want to do a drawing a day every day? It is to practice. It is to improve yourself. It is to look at other people's art and get inspired. So, getting the likes is just like a uh, what do I say? It's just like a side effect. It's like a by by product of actually doing that work. Um, and also bear in mind that um, because in the month of October, there's so many people doing art challenges, so many people drawing, your posts on Instagram, um, that there could be another 20,000 posts after you uh, in the next few minutes. And it's going to be very difficult for people to see your posts. So it happens. Um, the last uh, question that I'd like to answer is, what should I do after Inktober or after October? Uh, do you achieve uh, your, your aim of uh, getting into the habit of drawing? If you did, then continue, do the next, find another challenge, find another prompt list and continue to do it. Of course, you may wish to like, scale it down maybe to maybe once a week. Regarding the completed works that you have, you may even want to make it into a book, make it into, a post, into postcards to give it out to people, to sell it online. Uh, but just remember not to not to brand it as Inktober because it has been trademarked. So we may want to call it like drawings, drawings in October, art, or October art challenge, inspired by Inktober or something like that. So at least you know you are, you, are, you clear yourself from the trademark issue. Uh, do let me know if you have more questions. Uh, if you want to com any comments on on the latest on this video, follow me on my Facebook on on my Instagram uh, to see what I'm doing for the drawing challenge in October. Okay, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you had, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed my content so far. And of course, hit the notification bell, ding ding, <laughs> so that you can get a, a notification when I have a new video. And I see you in the next video. Have fun preparing for your first drawing challenge. Okay, bye-bye.